The Students Union of Namibia says the ministry should be more proactive, especially when it comes to the floods often experienced in the north. This is a, a perennial predicament. We know when there is good rain, there's always flood. So are we saying we can't make a permanent solution to this? Because of this drought, uh, flood, uh, we might lose a life of Elena very soon, especially those at, uh, at lower grades. The leader of the student movement says solutions to the floods in terms of education were shared at the country's last education conference. If you look at the policies of Namibian education, we have the best policy, uh, if not in Africa. When you read, you, you'll be smiling. When you read the policy of free education, when you read the policy of uh, quality education that's being provided, but when you reach at the, in the classroom itself, when you reach into the community, the problem is implementation. Kavao believes that temporarily closing schools is not sustainable as it's impossible to tell how long the floods will last. He suggests setting up temporary classrooms, even tents. But we know the repercussions that are involved when schools are closed. Already 2019, when there was COVID-19, we've witnessed there was an increase in teenage pregnancy. We've witnessed there was an increase in gender-based abuse. So the first priority should be to move these learners to dry land. If possible, maybe we can use uh, town councils, halls, uh, where learners can be taught. But we need to prioritize the education. Because if we don't prioritize education, then we find ourselves without educated nation. We have to think about the, the young kids. We have to think about the waterborne diseases that might come from that flood. We have to think about how these families are surviving as we are here in Windhoek, uh, enjoying the comfort of our homes.